Yeshua, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. It's your brother, the preacher, and we're here. Well, we're recording from the gym. Amen. And so, you know, we've, we've already done our little Torah nugget for, for the week. You can go back. It's talking about the condition of leprosy and how that corresponds with our speech and our tongue and so i you know i decided to i decided to kind of like freestyle a little bit and so i was asking the lord you know what would what would this video be and it's i just want to encourage you today that's what i'd like to do and i and i'm going to use some scriptures for encouragement today and be a, a brother a barnabas a brother of encouragement and so uh, hopefully i won't go too long <laughs> and make this a a little a short one but I, something that that dropped in my spirit and it comes from it comes from the the psalms psalm 127 and it's a psalm that children are a blessing from the lord and i mean we we have children as you know, or if you don't know, you can go and, and you can check the the uh, the introduction from from our brother Neftali's page, and, and we made a whole introduction about our family and stuff like that. And we have you know little girls, and you can see <clears throat> on the uh, on the channel in the background, I'm, I'm giving a flower to to my daughter Gabriela, and you know children are an amazing gift from God, but. Before I, because it's dropping in my spirit right now, before I go to the psalm, immediately what pops up in my, in my spirit as I'm talking to you right now, is the book of John, and so let's 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 run there really quick, and then I'll get into the other word, because I I believe it it all it all correlates together, it all comes together, the word of God is alive. It's 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 a living word. And it comes alive in a person. And it's it's good for correction, it's good for, for edification, it's good for it's good for everything in our life. Amen. And so the book of, of John, Yohanan in Hebrew means a God's grace. And so <clears throat> here, and I'm I'll be using my KJV today. I'm actually using my Rainbow Bible. And this is a really cool Bible. It highlights certain things. Uh, and, it, and it puts them in, in different categories. So here, God speaking or speaking about God. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him. And without Him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness to bear witness of the light, that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them he gave the power to become the sons of of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. The word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we beheld the glory, the glory of the only special begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What's, what, what, I'm, what I'm pointing at is, but as many 
as received him, to them he gave the power to become sons of God. And my wish is that all men would receive the knowledge and the truth of Jesus Christ. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. The law came through Moses. The law is good. The instructions of God, the, the wonderful instructions of God came through Moshe. But grace, the power to fulfill, the power to walk it out came through Jesus. The truth of all the scriptures, of everything that was written came through Jesus Christ. And all who would receive him, he gave them the right to be called the power. He gave them the power to be called sons of God. And so what does that have to do with Psalm 27 as speaking as children? Well, we are become children of God. We become children of God. And it says in verse 3, Lo, children are a heritage of the Lord. We are a part, a piece, uh, 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 an inheritance, a, 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 a heritage of God when we come to the Lord. And we receive him. He gives us the power. He gives us the ability. He gives us, he, he gives us his, how can I say it? We become part of his, of his household. Amen? And then it says, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. We are his reward. We are the fruit of his womb. Not of, not of, not of, not of flesh, not of man, but of God. We come from the womb, man, hallelujah. We come from the womb of God. When we receive him, we become born again. And then it says, as arrows in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. And so very interesting that me as as a man a mighty man of god my children are like arrows they're like arrows in my hand we get to shoot them out happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them we are arrows in in god's mighty hand he is a mighty man god is a mighty man of valor god is a mighty man strong and mighty who is this king of glory strong and mighty and we being sons and and daughters of the most high god we are like arrows in his hand and he sends us forth in the earth to destroy the works of the devil to conquer the devil to defeat the devil and I want, to, I want to motivate you today. I want you to know. And if you've never come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Or you need to rededicate your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Do that today. Do that today. Surrender your life. Again, send it afresh. Lord, I come to you. I submit my life. Forgive me for being away from you. Forgive me for being contrary to you. Lord, today I surrender afresh. I give it to you. I give you my life. It belongs to you. I will have to answer to you. And as many as receive him, he gives the power to be called sons of God. And then we become arrows in his hand. That we go about doing good in the earth. That we go about doing the works of God, defeating the devil, conquering the devil, destroying the works of the devil in our families, in our workplace, everything that we touch, everything that we come in contact with, we have the light that God sent into the world. He sent Yeshua. He sent Jesus into the world. He sent his son so that his son would live in us. 
and then we are like arrows in his hand and we are shot out. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Uh, you know, hallelujah. I want to, I, I seriously, I'm just, I want to encourage you today. An encouraging word for you today. To build you up in your most holy faith. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3. Verse 3. And if you have a U version, this would be your scripture for the day. And, and here is God. But the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil. He will establish you and keep you from evil. Thank you, Lord. You deliver us. You deliver us. You save us. Let me not go into temptation, but deliver me from, from all evil. And, and then send me out. I send you amongst wolves. You are my sheep, and I send you out. But he, he doesn't do it uh, like without, without equipping you, without giving you exactly what you need. You, you have everything that you need. Everything that you need to destroy and, and, and break down the enemy wall. In that same, in that same, in that same psalm, Go back to it. It begins with, except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. He, yeah. I thank you, Lord, that, that my old life is destroyed and that you built up this house. You built up this tabernacle. You built up me and it's built in you. And then now you send me, you let me go forth to destroy the works of the devil. I am an arrow. I am an arrow. And we are able by the power of the Holy Spirit to fight the good fight of faith. So I want to encourage you today. Fight the good fight of faith. Continue to walk in the things of God. Continue to move in the things of God. God establishes you. God establishes you. He strengthens you and protects you from the evil one, says the NET, the New English Translation. The Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. Don't be afraid. We all go through things. Let the word of God correct you. Let the spirit of God convict you and mold you and change you. We are like clay in the potter's hand. Let him do that today. Let, let, him, let him take out whatever impurity needs to be taken out. As we've been talking through this week, you can go back. You can look at the video, Refining Fire. That's what a refining fire does. It doesn't utterly destroy you. It takes out the impurity. And, and thank God that we're not, we're not utterly destroyed completely. But that God is willing to repair us, fix us, and then use us. Use us for great things. So I want to encourage you. I want to motivate you, implore you, beseech you to go after God, to go after him with all of your heart, with all of your mind, and with all of your strength. Man, I hope today, I hope today that you, you, you surrender your heart afresh and walk in confidence in the Lord. Man. This is your brother, the preacher. We have a few things going on. Uh, 
So support the ministry. This Saturday we'll have a live service, so you can check that out. My wife will be singing and we'll be giving the word. It's called Saturday Fire. I'm gonna talk about the fire of God burning in our hearts. <clears throat> and then next week we'll have our Loose Community Boxing Cookout and we'll record the message from there and then we'll upload it. You'll see a bunch of pictures and stuff like that. But support the ministry, support what we're doing. We just preached at Pine Ridge High School. Uh, we went to Deltona High School uh, yesterday and we did a panel and they were asking questions and stuff like that. So we're going out and we're gonna be doing a lot of other things too. So I just wanna thank all those who have been supporting this ministry and, and what we're doing and, and then what's happening online. People. I mean, I'm getting messages left and right. I mean, I rededicated my life where I needed that baptisms of the Holy Spirit, being filled with the, with the Spirit of God. I mean, relationships being restored, families being restored. And, and, and we're just, you know, I think we're small time when it comes to the, to the YouTube channel and it's making a major impact. So everyone who's supporting and, and supporting this channel, I wanna thank you. And all those who support Loose Community Boxing, I wanna thank you. I want to thank you. We're continuing to do the work of, of the Lord and what God has put in our heart. We're working with youth. Friday night, we'll have youth at Faith United Church. So middle school and high school, you're invited to come. And just, man, you know, God is moving. God is moving. And when you think of all the good things, you know, you, you just have to bless the Lord. And that means adoration. That's what blessing the Lord is, is adoration to give to adore him, adore him for his goodness, adore him for his love, adore him for his kindness, his tender mercies, his mercy endures forever. His, his loving kindness is renewed every day towards us. Thank you, Lord, for blessing. Thank you, Lord. If any of you need prayer, reach out to me. We'll pray for you. Sick, anything going on in the home, children, whatever, whatever. I'll, I'll agree with you. I'll come alongside with you and pray with you. We love you, family. In the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, shalom, shalom.